Welcome back to the 3D open world series in five minutes. Today we're gonna to be building a lakeside cabin and I'll give you a bunch of tips on how to properly stylize your open world. We're gonna see a lot of amazing new content today and as usual, let's start our five minute timer which I might go just a little bit over on today. Let's switch into the wide layout because we'll be doing a lot of work in the scene view. Select the terrain and click on the paint terrain tab. Then let's select the set height function. We're gonna be making a flat area for a lakeside cabin. So choose a height value that's a little bit above your lake. I'm gonna choose this third brush here and a very low opacity so that the edges of our flat area are soft. Now just flatten out the area by your lake by painting on the terrain. You can see there's a bit of a steep slope in the water. I wanna just flatten this out a bit so it looks more like a beach. Switch to smooth height, turn your opacity much, much higher, and we can just smooth this edge a bit. Next, we gotta clear out our flat area. So select the trees tab and shift click to remove all of the objects in our flat area. Let's head into the Unity Asset Store now and grab this asset named RPG Polypack Light. It's free right now and I'll link it in the description. Add to Unity from the Asset Store, then head over to the Package Manager, navigate to My Assets, and find the RPG Polypack. Download it and then import it. Navigate to your project files and open the RPG pp underscore lt folder navigate to prefabs structures buildings and finally bld underscore closed inside this folder we have several rpg style structures i'm going to choose the third one here so just drag that onto your scene and then rotate it if you need to i'm going to have it face the lake let's do a bit of quick project organization i'm going to control click all of the environmental game objects and place them all inside the terrain now the terrain is collapsible and we can keep our hierarchy much more organized next we're going to work on a dirt path between our cabin and the lake. Head into the terrain details tab with our grass and select the grass. Here's how I like to make paths. So first get a hard brush, make it a really small, you know, smaller than your planned path and make the opacity and target strength very high. Remove all grass and make the initial path by shift clicking. Now grab a noisy brush and turn the opacity and target strength way down somewhere around 0.15. What I'm doing here is I'm just single click spamming near the edge of the path. This is gonna reduce the density of the grass and form kind of a natural edge. When you're done, move back to the paint terrain tab and we're going to add a new terrain layer. Let's try out the dark brown dirt layer, which is part of an asset pack we downloaded in part two. I'm gonna use a similar procedure to before. Grab a hard brush, turn the brush size down and the opacity way up. Draw on the middle of your path, but you might notice something that is very frustrating it looks like the resolution of our terrain is preventing us from texturing a smooth path. Luckily, there's a setting we can change to improve this. Navigate to your terrain settings tab and scroll down to the texture resolutions and find the option control texture resolution. We can increase this to 1024 by 1024 to get more detail with our textures on the terrain. And you can actually see as soon as we change this option, the already painted on textures detail changed as well. Let's finish this first pass at the path now that we have more detail. Okay, now let's grab a noisy brush, reduce the opacity, and then we'll just spam click along the edge of our path to give it a noisy but kind of natural looking edge. Let's learn how to blend our textures now. Choose your beach texture, turn the opacity way down, and select a noisy brush. We're just going to simply click around with this low opacity brush to blend the textures until you're happy. Remember, you can also control Z to undo a change if you happen to over blend a bit. Let's move back into the 2x3 layout, move our player in the scene near our house, and enter play mode to check out what we've created. I would say this looks pretty good, but we can improve it by adding some height data to our path. Let's go back to the paint terrain tab and select a noisy brush. This time, make the opacity really small, somewhere, you know, down around even one. Then we're gonna just drag along the edge of our path to give it some height data. After this, you'll likely want to select the smooth height and take a smoothing pass over this path. You can see the result here. This definitely adds a lot more polish to our path. For this next part, I'm gonna be live assembling some props and details around our cabin and I'll just kind of talk you through this process. I'm gonna search for the fence prefab as part of our poly nature pack assets. Drag it onto the scene and adjust its rotation and position to match with our cabin. I'm now removing the grass inside of our fence because I want our yard to have a different texture. I'm painting on this dirt texture now which I'll fill the whole yard with. Next I'm gonna drag on some prefabs from our RPG light pack. Let's put in a couple of log pile game objects, some barrels, some boxes in the back, a wooden bath, and now some planks to make a wood path from our house to the lake. You can see the results of this, but to be honest with you, something just kind of feels off. And I think what it is, is the color mismatch between the dirt texture and our prop colors. 
So we're gonna cap off this tutorial with an extremely useful trick, taking advantage of the built-in splat mapping Unity's terrain offers us. Go back to paint terrain and we're gonna swap out our dirt texture. Just click on the select option of the layer texture and choose a new texture. You can try a few different options, but I found this dirt desaturated option to really match the style of our cabin and the surrounding props. While we're here, let's actually swap out our grass texture to something darker and more saturated, and this should match better to our grass a little bit more. One final tip, you'll notice that we can walk straight through the cabin in our props at the moment, so let's add some colliders. For the cabin, unfortunately, it's a pretty complex geometry, so adding a box collider is not enough. In this case, just add a mesh collider instead, and Unity should automatically use the correct mesh defining our cabin. For the other objects, we can just use box colliders or capsule colliders as they're a simpler geometry. After adding those, you can test out your scene to see that we no longer run through the objects. I'm going to cap off this scene by adding in some trees near our cabin so it feels like we're in a foresty area, and here is the final result. Thanks for watching, and if you guys are enjoying this content, remember to subscribe and turn on notice below. Comment below whatever you're looking for in future tutorial series. Peace!